Legislation could be the key to effectively combat the ongoing issue of transboundary haze. Heng Kia Chun from Greenpeace Southeast Asia outlines the organization's demands in response to deteriorating air quality. Uh, this is very important uh, to enact a domestic transboundary haze law to ensure that the company are not contributing to haze locally and abroad. Um, for example, like enacting a domestic transboundary haze act is necessary to act as a deterrent, especially they are bad apple in the industry. And this can provide a legal ground for each country to institutionalize a check and balance to ensure their own company to operate responsibly. So in particular, Greenpeace demand ASEAN states to develop a regional framework to hold corporate entity accountable for domestic forest fire due to the peatland clearance and agricultural residue burning. The second mandates all companies known for clearing out the forest to publicly disclose and publish concessions back to be shared across ASEAN member states to improve transparency in their supply chain. The third one is to agree on a standardized um, air quality indicator to be used in all ASEAN member states to monitor and track air pollution based on a, a common methodology and act accordingly. According to Heng, ASEAN must hold their overseas firms accountable to effectively tackle the long-standing haze crisis. Previously, I think so, ASEAN countries, they always use a uh, uh, so-called ASEAN way, which is diplomatic way to uh, deal with this uh, transboundary pollution issue, which means that they do not interfere other country problems. Uh, what we want to highlight that we can learn and also draw some inspirations from the Singapore's uh, Transboundary Haze Act so to, for a better version in Malaysia's one. For example, Malaysia uh, government can also focus on uh, enacting the Domestic Transboundary Haze Pollution Act and then to uh, focus on Malaysian owned company so that it can reduce like uh, the interference uh, issues that are uh, raised by Indonesian governments last time. So this is a way forward to prove that Malaysian-owned companies are not contributing to forest fire, like mentioned by uh, Indonesian government. So if all the countries that can make sure their own company to operate in a responsible way, then we can solve this uh, transboundary haze pollution problem. Uh, transboundary haze pollution happened for more than 20 years, and ASEAN countries that keep saying that they use um, that yeah, ASEAN way to do it. And until now, the transboundary pollution still happens. So why don't we give Transboundary Haze Act a try?